Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and muli welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sa Ibanghelyo po natin ngayon, I want to focus our attention on the two disciples, no? Two disciples who wanted to follow Jesus, the would-be disciples of Jesus. The first one is a scribe and another and another disciple no that was not named or described the scribe during the time of jesus or the scribes during the time of jesus are persons of authority they are interpreters of the law and this scribe upon witnessing who jesus is and upon witnessing what he did because after uh, before this gospel no Jesus performed miracles before this episode Jesus cleansed the leper healed the mother or the mother in law of Peter no so most probably when the scribe saw what Jesus did when the scribe witnessed what Jesus performed he must have been so happy, so joyful, so hopeful that he said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. The scribe is so happy, overwhelmed by what Jesus did. And he must have said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Malakas yung loob, matapang, warrior, no? Sabihin natin. Because I think he saw that Jesus is so powerful. Jesus is uh, a healer. Jesus is a teacher, an authority. And so he said, I will follow this man. So on the other hand, this scribe is overwhelmed by joy, overwhelmed by elation. That's why he was able to say and to promise Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. On the other hand, there is this disciple who is, we could say, who is concerned with sadness. Why? Because this disciple is concerned with, in a way, burying his father. But according to scholars, to bury one's father in this context in the Bible, is not, it's not because his father is dead. Because he has to take care, rather, of his father. He has to secure his father who might be in his old age. And so he has to take care of his parent. And it's valid. But Jesus said, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. On the one hand, Jesus was telling the scribe, You know what? The life of security that you want to have by following me is not the security that you think. You will not have a life of authority just as you have right now. You will not even have a house to stay. But on the other hand, he's telling the disciple who is so concerned with worldly things, with security, I will secure your life. Let go of your concerns in life. Follow me. Follow me. And so, we might say, no, out of this gospel, we might reflect that in the various experiences that we have, especially when we are overwhelmed by emotions like happiness or sadness, you must be focused on Jesus, especially when making our life decisions. On the one hand, it's like Jesus is saying, when you are too happy, when you are overwhelmed by joy, 
do not make promises easily. When you are so happy, for example, no, pumasa ka, yung mga dasal mo sa buhay ay tinugo ng Panginoon, do not easily make promises. Parang sinasabi ni Lord, wag agad-agad. Be calm first. Be level-headed so that your promises will truly be a promise out of commitment and not a promise out of passing, fleeting emotions. On the other hand, when we are sad, when we are burdened with so many concerns in life, do not make decisions easily. So much so that many opportunities would pass because we are so concerned with sadness, with fear. And so Jesus is saying, when you are overwhelmed with sadness, do not forget to trust because your situation now will change for sure. Do not be afraid to follow me, to be with me. And so my dear brothers and sisters, I know many of us, when we come to Manawag, we are praying for blessings, but we are also asking for petitions. We have with us our emotions of joy and emotions of sadness. But Jesus is telling us, especially through our mother, pray because these things pass away. Our emotions of sadness, they will also go after some time. When you are sad right now, these things will also pass. But in everything that will happen to your life, Trust in God. Follow Him. Not out of emotions, but out of commitment. Out of commitment that God, in His grace, will fulfill the desires of our hearts, will fulfill our prayers in His time, in His most perfect time. Trust in Him, not in your emotions. We all stand to offer the prayer of the faithful.